Love is our true divine nature, and our heart serves as the intersection of the spiritual and physical, connecting our soul with our body as the conduit for anchoring our divinity onto the earth plane. Embodying our divinity is the key to our ascension and to manifesting our highest destiny in this life. The teachings of the heart are alchemy. Join spiritual mentor and channel Jennifer Spohr each week on a sacred journey to lift the veil to remembering your divinity and meet other beautiful souls who are living the path of the awakened heart. Hey everyone, I am here today with Natalie Woodman. She is one of my favorite humans and a dear friend and colleague, and she is also a sought after psychic embodiment and business mentor. She's a medical intuitive, trauma aware master, Akashic consultant, and advanced pranic healing specialist. Natalie is all the things. Welcome, Natalie. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. It's so wonderful to be here with you and all your listeners. Oh, it's so wonderful to be here with you, too. I'm so grateful to have you here. And I have to say, I mean, you know, most people are probably listening to this via audio right now, but you just have the most radiant light in your eyes. And then I'm really loving your, like, aquamarine scarf. Thank you. Yeah, I've really been leaning into this color. It's weird. Like most of my wardrobe is now like shades of green and aqua marine and gold. Those are like the shades that are wanting to come through. So it's it's just fascinating how, you know, color frequency shifts from time yes. to time. Yeah, and those are very high frequency wear. colors too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I would love for you to share with us uh you've recently embarked on a significant journey i'd love for you to share um more with us about you know the work you're you're being inspired to how you're currently being called to show up right and and what some of that is is looking like it's uh i think it's really inspiring thank you well, it started about a year ago when, yeah, it probably be just over a year now, where I was walking to work in the UK and Spirit, you know, guided me and said, it's time. It's time to go. It's time to go to Cape Town. It's time to go to the mountain. It's time to be with the ocean and the land. And it's time. It's time to start living and no longer having a bucket list. And, you know, Hawaii was at the top of my bucket list and like, and you've got to go to Hawaii. And from that moment, I just paused and I reflected and I'm like, okay, it's time. And I digested the fact that my time in the UK had come to an end and that everything that I started over a period of time, I was going to be wrapping up and transitioning. And so that's what I did over a 10 month period to get to be here you know I've been in South Africa since January and I'm here until the end of May and I can tell you that it was a really big chapter of my life a really big pivotal moment because up until then you know I'd been in the UK for 24 years and before I left South Africa I was in South Africa for 25 years so I just found that in itself fascinating that um, now was the time that I was getting the calling to come home. And having been here, I can see why the time is now. You know, so much has shifted for me. So much has landed and integrated just within me and in myself. And having this, you know, time out, um, closing one, business because I was running both businesses alongside each other I had a thriving physiotherapy practice which I've had for the last 16 years and so I literally retired and closed up my business the day before I got on the plane which was on the 22nd of January and um, I don't advise anyone to do that 
by the way, because it's quite something to, you know, pack your life up and close the business and then get on a flight. But, you know, everything worked out the way it was meant to. And being here, what has come about, I've written, you know, chapters in two books. Um, I've been channeling, channeling so much more and there's much more wisdom that's wanting to come through. And I can see why it's wanting to come through in this land, on this land. And there's so much more spaciousness that I feel within myself here that allows me to be able to anchor in the frequency that has allowed me to really tap into the frequency of being so much more and what that looks like and what life looks like right now um, as a digital nomad, working as a coach and a mentor and living living the life that I'd dreamed of for the last 11 years. And, you know, I'm here for the next few months. I will be going to Zanzibar later this month. And then I will be coming back to South Africa for a little bit of time to spend time with family. And then I'm moving off to Hawaii. And what, and there are 11 different places that sacred sites that I'm being called to go to. And the timing of when I'm going to those sites, that has shifted since January. So that's interesting to kind of witness. The plan that I had before I got on the plane has been evolving and shifting since I've landed here. So there's a lot of flowing and um, leaning into trust and knowing that um, divine timing and planning of when I'm being guided to go to certain places. I know that I'm going to be there when I'm meant to be there. Yeah. Energies are absolutely fluid. And this is a great segue for the next question I wanted to ask you, which is how, even in spiritual communities, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I've been in this space too. And, and it's still like this dance with our own kind of brain, with our own mind is that you know, even uh, people who have been on their, their path, will say, for quite some time, still have a tendency to default to taking actions from the mental space or, you know, manifesting from the mental space versus, versus leaning more into that heart space and more into uh, the element of uncertainty. What are you feeling guided to share around that? Because describing the journey that you're on, right? You, you have to get really comfortable with, you know, being truly anchored into the present moment. Yes, you really do. And it's really interesting because what I've had to do is give my brain a new job a new focus and a new direction uh -huh. so that she, you know she has her job which therefore allows me to be in a state of the present moment and not get pulled away or sidetracked and when I first got here a lot of the wisdom that was coming through was that I had to rest because it took so much um that last 10 months that I needed this pause, the sacred pause to really integrate and embody everything that I had done over the last 10 months. And it's interesting because, you know, I landed with this excitement, but the wisdom coming through was you have to rest. And I'm like, really? I really want to move. No, you have to rest. And so I literally had to give my brain a new job. It's like, okay, brain, your job today is to find a great place to rest. Where on this beautiful property are we going to go and lie down and, you know, receive from the beautiful earth? And so that was, that is what I directed my brain to do. You know, like you find the spot and I will go and lie there. And so I did that for several weeks, just resting and allowing myself to receive and it's interesting because there are moments during that transition where you will catch yourself and you go okay my heart may be saying one thing and then the brain may be saying another thing and you like you catch yourself and you're like no 
right? This is your new job. Because as we are on this journey, we are unlearning, unwiring old patterns, old programmings, old beliefs of how we show up, mm -hmm. of how we receive, of what support looks like. And we are wiring in at the same time new programming, new beliefs, and new imprints that hold a much higher frequency and vibration. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because you're going to have to catch yourself during those periods of the unwinding and the rewiring because there are going to be times where your brain is going to want to get in the way of what your heart and your sacred body wisdom is guiding you to do and your soul's wisdom. Mm -hmm. How have these experiences um, changed how you're feeling called to show up in regard to your, not only your, your personal purpose, but your collective purpose or your collective mission? So I've recently learned a little bit more about my soul's mission. <laughs> It's really big. And um, when I learned about, because it unfolds, right? It unfolds with every yes that we say um, that, you know, that we say yes to. And every big expansion, you know, another little piece unfolds or it gets revealed. And so for me, I really have started to see and receive the magnitude of just how big my soul's um, mission is. And I, there was a moment where I thought, oh, wow, How? And then I had to catch myself and go, no, we don't need to know the how. The how gets to be revealed along the journey. And all I have to do is be present with my heart, with my soul and, you know, connect to spirit. So how am I being guided to show up collectively? It, it is to share more wisdom, share more sacred wisdom and really allow myself to be the divine channel that I am and anchor and embody that at a much deeper level. So, um, you know, I'm going to be sharing a lot more channeled messages in, in my community and through social media of what is wanting to come through and of what needs to be shared. So that is what I'm being guided to do. And then also, my programs have morphed and are continuing to morph into something much more fluid that allows spirit to move through me and that allows me to show up in much more wholeness without creating borders around what wants to come through. So, the guidance is me getting out of the way even more than before. Yeah. I and feel being that. that channel. Yeah. Much I feel that. And I feel like, you know, many are being called right to that deeper, I guess we could say embodiment of the truth of what we're really here to do. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah what would be uh if if you're if if you're feeling guided to share sure what do you feel has been the biggest challenge I guess or you could say like resistance that you felt to moving forward that you overcame and uh, which I'm sure so many others have experienced and what would be your wisdom around guiding them forward <laughs> in a more expedited fashion? <laughs> <laughs> if you are being guided to pivot, which is basically what, you know, I was guided to do uh -huh. onto my soul aligned path, take time out for yourself and, and do it early on, you know, Take the time to really feel into your heart and into your soul as to what is truth for you. 
And if you are being guided to do this, what was, oh, it was highly beneficial um, for me was taking a week out and then just allowing myself to celebrate, to witness the impact that I made in the time that I had my business over the 16 years, the impact that I made in everybody's life in the time, 27 years of being a physio, the multiple versions of me that, you know, came along the journey that, uh, that enabled me to become the person and the version who I was, who made the decision and aligned fully to the decision to make this big move Mm -hmm. you know and there's a real there's a piece where we have to grieve we have to let go and then align fully to the new and the two kind of happen alongside each other and also almost at the same time and the the letting go period is going to happen organically through the journey with every step that you're saying yes to a little bit more of you is going to show up in even more full alignment as you anchor that in within yourself and then the other thing I would definitely say is don't be afraid if people start shifting out of your field because that is a fact it is going to happen and you may find yourself wanting to hold on to certain friendships and that might not be for your highest good and the individual's highest good so you know check in with yourself and see you know is this where my energy is needed right now because when you're making such a big pivotal shift it takes it takes a lot of energy a lot of focus a lot of dedication a lot of awareness of checking in every day what is my next step where am I being guided to show up what am I being guided to share and actually embodying and anchoring that in when you are moving onto that path and especially when you are ending one business and moving fully into another business there's so much that requires your focus and your attention so be wise with what is allowed to have your attention Uh yeah yeah discernment yes I've experienced that too uh yeah we're in a constant state of change and you know this is part of that societal programming that can be a whole other episode on its own um (laughs) just to say that you know we've always been conditioned to believe that change is something that we need to be afraid of and it's actually the opposite that is the truth and that is that change is part of our nature it's part of of who we are right and some people will be in our lives for a lifetime Mm -hmm. however many of them will be more of a revolving door you know some will be there longer than others and just being okay with that when it's time yes and you know not making it mean something when a a relationship feels complete yes we love labels don't we (laughs) no right and it's you know if you can release that individual with love and you know wishing them only the best then with that same energy someone new is going to come into your life that you are meant to meet that is meant to you know influence you activate you or support you in that next piece that's unfold yeah so true in in closing natalie what are you feeling guided to bring forward to share with the listeners? What would you like? Is, can, you, can you repeat that again? Yeah, I said, in closing, what are you feeling guided to bring forward in this now moment to share with the listeners? Okay, so for each and every one of you, 
it takes immense bravery and courage to walk a soul aligned path. And I really want you to take a moment to hear these words because it takes so much courage and so much bravery to say yes to your soul's calling, to show up every day and choosing your soul's path, choosing your soul's mission over what everything else, you know, that has come before, over everything that you might see externally, over past programming, you know, despite what others may say, it takes so much courage to do that. And so witness and celebrate yourself at every single milestone, no matter how small and insignificant it seems, it is, it's so valuable to celebrate every single step along the way, because that is how you're going to anchor it in, how you're going to integrate and how you're going to embody those shifts with so much more ease. And the other thing is on this journey, what is really going to be important is movement. You know, movement is how we anchor in and embody physically into the body all the shifts that we are making mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and energetically. So your body may want to move in a different way than previously. So if you can be with your body, witness her, listen to her, and be open to new ways of movement without judgment, without questioning why or how or, you know, those pieces are going to be revealed along the way. If you can check in with your heart and go, okay, yeah, you're telling me to do this. Okay, let me just check in. Does this feel good? Oh, yeah, that feels yummy in my body. Okay, let's go. Let's give it a go. And let's see what unfolds. Let's see what this is about to unlock in me. Because that's what it's going to do. It's going to unlock something within you. It is going to help you to integrate another facet or a piece that you are busy integrating, but to a whole new level that you didn't even know. You know, and that's what I found with my journey. It's like mine was climbing and paddleboarding. And I didn't even see the multidimensionality of why those particular movements were being chosen for me as I was integrating and embody this big shift. So be with your body, listen to the guidance coming through. And if it feels aligned for you, go with it and see, you know, be curious and see what, what unfolds for each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. And be that. open. I love that so much. And, and all of this goes back to leaning into that sacred. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah. And, you know, there are going to be moments along the way when you're going to have doubt. Put your hand on your heart and just check in with your heart and with your soul and go, is this still the right, uh, you know, is this still the right aligned action for me? And if it's yes, then keep going. You know, keep checking in. When that doubt comes up, just go, oh no, this is aligned. Okay, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm safe. I love myself. I'm supported. I'm held. I'm nurtured. I'm guided. And I'm ready to go. I and love go. that. Natalie, you are a gem. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, adore you. I've loved this conversation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you. Such a blessing and a treat to have you. And uh, for those, we'll have all the information in, in the show notes. For those who are listening, if they're feeling guided to connect with you, where is the best place for them to reach out? Um, you can reach out and you can find me on social media. By Natalie Woodman is my handle for um, Instagram, Facebook, and, uh, and and YouTube. So whichever platform feels aligned for you to connect with me, uh, you can find me there. And also my website is also by NatalieWoodman.com. I do have a free Facebook group. If you want to learn more about, you know, my wisdom and how I work, then 
come along and 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 come on into the group and then I think there is a free gift um link as well did I give that to you I think I did I'm not sure um but there is one which is trusting and aligning to your intuition and wisdom so you can access that as well wonderful thank you so much Natalie such a joy to have you thank you for having me Thank you for listening to Path of the Awakened Heart. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts or pathoftheawakenedheart.com so you never miss an episode. To learn more about living with an awakened heart and navigating your ascension journey, visit me at jenniferspore.com.